The seeds of life, actual living creatures, and their DNA swarm throughout the cosmos. Other than the hand of God, the only rational, intelligent explanation for the origin of earthly life is life arrived here from other planets. One need only gaze at the cratered surface of our moon to realize we live in the midst of a cosmic shooting gallery. Indeed, like the Earth, the moon was bombarded and continues to be pounded by asteroids, meteors, and watery comets. Thus, perhaps not surprisingly, fossilized bacteria have been discovered in soil samples obtained from the moon. In 1970 and in 1972, the Soviet Union sent the Luna 16 and Luna 20 spacecraft to the moon, which collected rocks and soil samples from the lunar surface. These samples were hermetically sealed, returned to the Earth, and photographed. Subsequently, fossils were discovered in the moon samples, creatures identical to coccoidal bacteria like Sideroccus and Sophlobobus. These coccoidal bacteria are strictly aerobic organisms that normally live in acidic sulfuric water. They also photographed the fossil of a spiral microorganism, which Dr. Ron Joseph later discovered to be an exact replica of an ocean-dwelling animal which became extinct around 650 million years ago. In fact, not only were fossils of three water-dwelling organisms found on the moon, but organic residue of unknown origin in a single dormant bacteria which also prefers a watery environment. On November 20th, 1969, Apollo 12 astronauts Pete Conrad and Alan Bean were almost forced to abort their moon mission when their craft was struck by a bolt of lightning. Fittingly, they landed on the ocean of storms. Their primary mission was to retrieve equipment and a TV camera from the unmanned lunar probe Surveyor 3, which had landed on the moon on April 20th, 1967. There it sat for 31 months, taking pictures and collecting data. Upon returning the equipment to Earth, NASA scientists were surprised to discover the organic material of unknown origin. They were even more surprised to discover a single dormant bacteria, almost identical to Streptococcus mitis, living inside the camera that had been sitting on the moon for 31 months, almost three years. How it got there is unknown and a mystery. Streptococcus mitis normally lives in a very moist environment, such as the mouth, and forms huge colonies that include dozens of species of microbe. In fact, a single droplet of saliva contains over 750 million organisms. Thus, if the Streptococcus mitis found on the moon was due to contamination, such as from a cough or a sneeze, hundreds of millions of bacteria should have been recovered. Instead, there was only one in a dormant state. Based on numbers alone, contamination is not a realistic possibility. Thus, this organism, which resembled Streptococcus mitis, lived on the moon and survived in a total vacuum exposed to all types of radiation and temperatures which fluctuated from 250 degrees below zero to 250 degrees above. It not only survived, but came back to life. Three fossils and one living microbe, all preferring watery environments, have been found on the moon. Perhaps not surprisingly, water has also been discovered on the lunar surface. In 1994, NASA's Clementine Orbiter detected a lake of frozen water in a huge crater near the south pole of the moon. Methane was also detected, and methane is often produced as a byproduct of microbial activity. These findings were confirmed by the Lunar Prospector in 1998, 
which detected frozen water in both the south and the north pole of the moon, up to 6.6 .6 billion tons of frozen water in total. NASA scientists believe the water came from comets and water-bearing meteors that had struck the moon. Most of the water boiled away when exposed to the 250 degree temperatures and escaped into space due to the moon's low gravity. But in crevices which receive very little or no sunlight, temperatures dropped to 280 degrees below zero, as the South Pole crater was created by a massive meteorite, and as the North Pole also receives very little direct sunlight, this would also explain the presence of the huge lakes of frozen water. And where there is water, there is life. Microbes can easily survive a journey through space in the most extreme environments if encased in a meteor, asteroid, comet, or even an envelope of ammonia, methane, carbon, water, ice, or a thin coating of dust only half a micrometer thick. Other than the hand of God, there is simply no other logical, rational explanation. Our ancient ancestors, the first creatures to appear on Earth, journeyed here from the stars.